Let's try this again. Hello, everybody. I'm going to start out my YouTube account doing a few video reviews on different hardware, software, uh, operating systems, uh, accessories. Uh, my laptop, for instance, it's junk, but I will give a review on it because when I was purchasing it, I didn't find one and I wish I had. Um, I'll review the hardware in my desktop. Uh, I'll be reviewing my operating system on my laptop, which is Linux Mint. That's going to be this video, actually. Um, different software for Windows, um, my camera, anything really. Uh, you request it. If I can get it, I'll review it. But uh, we'll start out by doing my operating system, Linux Mint, in this video. Uh, a lot of people don't have experience with Linux. It's a great operating system for someone who is interested in it. If you have never used Linux, it's a great starter Linux operating system. It's a lot easier than Red Hat, Fedora, Ubuntu, Debian, anything I've used. Um, it's the only Linux operating system I would recommend to my grandmother. It's actually the only operating system, period, I would recommend to my grandmother because we all know that uh, grandmothers can, well, we'll leave it at that. She might actually watch this video. Um, Linux Mint is very secure. If you were to install Linux Mint on a computer for someone who's not all that tech savvy, they would be able to grasp the concept to use Linux Mint for web browsing, for their uh, word processing needs, you know, entertainment purposes. Through Wine, you may even install some games in Mint. Flash games work out of the box. Uh, it's very easy for a novice to pick up, uh, as well as very secure. If you were going to admin, uh, be the administrator on that system for a novice to use, it wouldn't be that difficult to keep them from screwing it up. Uh, if they didn't know the root password, obviously, they can't do anything to mess it up. Unlike in Windows, where uh, much harm can be done. Another good thing about Linux, uh, I've never gotten a virus on Linux, have you? Uh, it's very secure. I don't know that many people who would even want to try to hack it. Uh, I know, I believe it was last year, there was a competition to hack one of three notebook computers, one with Linux. One with Windows and a Mac, and the uh, the Mac was hacked within two minutes. The Windows machine was hacked a little later, and no one even touched the Linux box. So, just to give you an idea, um, everything in Linux Mint is built with the intention of working out of the box. Meaning, you download the ISO or you buy one of their discs, which I would highly recommend to support the project. Uh, if you buy this for I believe it's five or I'm sorry ten dollars, then I think it's five seventy one of that goes towards the developers of the operating system. So it's a good cause. You'd be helping out the developers in furthering the operating system, uh, adding updates, increasing the longevity of the project. So I would highly recommend that. Which you don't have to. You can go download it for free on their site. Uh, there's plenty of options for that. There's a direct link. There's a torrent. Uh, I'll go over torrents. That's a whole other video. Um, but uh, as for the install, upon inserting the live CD, which is what the uh, Linux Mint install CD is, you put it in and it runs the operating system completely from your CD drive. So if you want to try it out and don't want to install it on your computer, just go download the CD, pop it in, turn on your computer, and it's there. You don't have to worry about installing it on your computer, taking up space, erasing your Windows partitions. It just works and you can test it out and see if you like it. I ran the live CD, it booted up without any problems whatsoever. Uh, I know a couple of Ubuntu distributions on my computer, I had to disable ACPI. So that worked out fairly well. 
Upon booting up, everything worked fine. I went to the install shortcut, which is directly on the desktop, and it was just like any other Ubuntu uh, distribution. See, Linux Mint is based directly on Ubuntu, so it uses the same repositories and you know, all the same software. Uh, once installing, I restarted the computer. Um, it booted back up, and I was prompted with the uh, Restricted Drivers Manager which is a very handy tool that's been packaged with a lot of the newer uh, Ubuntu-based distributions. What it is, it allows you to download and install proprietary drivers and firmware. Uh, I had to install drivers for my video card, my um, software modem, and my wireless card. My, actually, my wireless card was more of a firmware update instead of a uh, driver update. Uh, I have the Broadcom 43 series. Anyway, all of that took about five minutes. I'm not on a very fast DSL connection, it's about 1.5. Um, it was very quick. It required one restart due to the video graphics change. Um, once it came back up, everything was fine. It comes preloaded with Compiz, which adds desktop effects. And I like that Mint has that preloaded onto the OS, but my video card didn't work out of the box. It was blacklisted, meaning it's not supposed to work. Uh, I removed the blacklist for it and everything worked fine. So I've not had it freeze up yet, so obviously that needs to be removed. But that's somewhere later down the road. I'm running version 5.0. It's very quick, very stable operating system. There's the compass face. Um, I can honestly say I'm very satisfied. The start menu is very simple. Yeah, everything's self-explanatory. Uh, I installed Wine, obviously, to try to run some uh, games, Photoshop, uh, waiting on a patch for Office uh, 07, because I'll need that for my classes later this year. But if I had to give Linux Mint a score, 1 through 10, at this point in time, I would probably give it uh, between an eight and a half and a nine. Now, it would be a 10, still a few bugs. Uh, obviously, in order to offer a perfect desktop experience for anyone, they shouldn't have to edit any important system files at all. You know, that should be done for them automatically. Um, It comes with quite a bit of software, but there are a few things that I believe should be pre-installed on there. Wine, obviously, if you're trying to make it a seamless transition from Windows to Linux, you're going to have to have Wine for certain programs that people are attached to. And well, that's, that's about the only problems I've had with it. I mean. There's the occasional thing I'll run across that's not all that great, uh, could be changed, but um, you know, it's being updated fairly quickly. Version it's already on version 5.0 and it just started August of 2000 and I believe it was six. So I mean, they're putting the updates out really quickly. It's a really good community over there. To check it out, you can head over to LinuxMint.com. I believe that's what it is. Yeah, linuxmint.com. I'll put a link over there for you. Um, and just check it out. It's a fanta uh, fantastic operating system. And there, you've got nothing to lose. Um, I'm Eric Vance. I'll be uploading quite a few videos over the next little bit. So if you like what you see, subscribe.